villagers, it's Lisa from Small Thicket here with a teeny tutorial today. We are going to be making miniature books. These are perfect for your little miniature scenes and for your fairies. And they're made out of simple stuff that you probably have laying around your house. I like these because they have individual pages, so they look like real little books. So the materials you're going to need are pretty simple. These are vintage book pages or antique book pages. You can buy books at secondhand shops. I'm sure you have a book laying around that you wouldn't mind tearing up. And then for the cover, we're going to use just random decorative paper, scrapbook paper, cardstock, um, paper from an old envelope, wrapping paper, you name it. We are going to use super glue because I am woefully impatient when it comes to glue drying and some sort of little clip. You can use a binder clip, a paper clip. I'm using these little quilting clips um, to hold everything together while it cures. Okay, so we're gonna cut our uh, vintage book pages into strips and you can make them as wide or as narrow as you want. That will inform the size of your finished book. And then we're gonna fold it. So we're going to fold it like an accordion, so, or a fan, if anybody remembers this from when you were a kid. So it's back and forth, you're just folding back and forth. So make sure that everything lines up because we want, you know, some nice, even book pages. Back and forth. Then we have this little extra bit that doesn't quite fit, so we're just gonna trim it off with our scissors. So now we have this little book accordion here. If you wanted a thicker book, you would make a bunch of little book accordions and glue them together. But we're just gonna use this one for this tutorial. Now we're gonna make the cover, which this is just a scrap of scrapbook paper. And I'm not really a measuring person. I'm more of like an eyeball type person. So we're just gonna eyeball this and stick it on top of the paper and trim it so that way the cover is going to be the size that we need. I know it looks a little long here but we'll trim it when we're done. And then we're going to take our glue and run a bead of glue along the spine of the book. So that's the back edge of the book with the super glue. And the super glue dries super quick so you won't have to wait around forever for this to dry which is pretty nice. And then we're going to Fold it over. Put a little clippy on it to hold everything nice and tight while it dries. And then we're going to trim the extra off. And once it's all dry, you have a miniature book. How easy was that, right? You can make a ton of these in a short amount of time. Here's one from earlier that I made. The cover is just one of those security envelopes that I painted with a little bit of watercolor paint. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, tag, find me Small Thicket at Instagram and smallthicket.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye guys.